Alrighty, so this is how you enable frame generation in games. So I will be using this demonstration for Red Dead Redemption 2, but you can apply these settings to any game really, and uh, it will work, or maybe not any game, but uh, this is how you properly set it up, okay? So first things first, you're going to just go into AMD Software Adrenaline Edition, open that, and here you can just go into Gaming, graphics and enable amd fluid motion frames 2.0 search mode um that's really up to you i like to keep it at standard but uh, auto works performance mode you can also turn this on it doesn't really matter what you have here really but it says that uh, if you have a igpu you should keep it at performance and if you have a dedicated gpu you should keep it at quality but uh, personally, I just like keeping it at auto because the frames it generates at quality, no, performance are a little uglier. So I just like keeping this at auto and I usually keep this at standard search mode because high, it does get a little uglier, I guess. Let's say it like that. And uh, yeah, also I have Radeon Boost 2 on. Also have, uh, it's not here. Let me just go into Red Dead Redemption here so we can see that right here. Come on, there we go. Uh, search mode, yeah, standard. Performance mode, auto. Re enable Radeon anti-lag, really, really important. And turn off Radeon chill, Radeon image sharpening. I don't use that. I recommend using Radeon super resolution. I have that on sharpening effect 70. It's pretty effective. I mean, it's really effective, really. Let's say it like that. And it doesn't really use GPU. And also vertical uh, refresh or V-Sync, always off. When using frame generation, always off. Anti-aliasing doesn't really matter. And topic filtering doesn't really matter. Texture filtering quality, I just have that on performance. Surface format optimization, enable that. That will give you more performance. Mm. I think that's really it here. And also AMD free, free sync, turn that on. Or actually AMD optimize probably fine too. Um, yes. And also sharpen effect. I don't recommend having this on 100. I recommend having this on like 50 to 70. Uh, yeah, I might actually turn this on 60 right there. It's uh, because 70 gets a little too sharp or even more than that, it gets too sharp. Well, 50, less sharp. 60, I think, is the sweet spot. And now we need to change some settings in the game. So let's just open Red Dead Redemption. And for games in general, you want to make sure that they are at running at at least 60 FPS for frame generation to work correctly. If the game dips under 60 FPS without frame generation, when you enable frame generation, it will be buggy and it will, I mean, it will be a buggy mess. Same with the Legion Go 1 and uh, yeah, the Legion Go 2, Z2 Extreme, it will be a buggy mess if you get under 60 FPS. I actually would recommend getting at least like 70. So you really have to configure your in-game settings like performance settings and uh, tensilation, reflection, quality, all of that. You want to turn that lower down so you get that around 70 FPS sweet spot so frame generation can work properly. And um, yeah, now let's just go into Red Dead Redemption. I have optimized this game a lot. And uh, I mean, it still lags a little sometimes, but that's because I want my quality to be Damn, this thing is dusty. And that's because I like uh, breaking and entry. Oh, I got achievement. I like having the quality on higher in Red Dead Redemption because this really is a game that's about uh, looking good, really. But uh, also, of course, you don't want it to run like shit. And uh, here... I have this resolution, but you don't have to copy me here. But what you need to copy is having this on full screen, really important for frame generation to work. V-Sync off, triple buffering off. It will interfere with um, frame generation. Also, do not have uh, a uh, FPS set 
like or locked or FPS limiter or something like that, do not have that on. So I have a refresh rate on 144, that's the highest I can have it at. Do not take that down or uh, frame generation will start acting up sometimes. Sometimes it might not, but sometimes it does. Uh, nothing here that's that important really. MDFSR, yeah, that's not really important. HDR, I have that on. Uh, what else is important for HDR to work properly? Let's see here. Uh, motion blur, turn that off. That is also really important. It will interfere with your frame generation if you have that on. And other than that, yeah, that's really it. And make sure you're always running at full screen or full, uh, exclusive full screen. And uh, that's really it to make frame generation work. And uh, let's just test this out, shall we? Also notice that if you have, uh, uh, where are you? Frame monitor on, sometimes it is a buggy mess with uh, with frame generation, but we'll see, we'll see. I'll test right now, I might have to turn it off so it's not a buggy mess anymore. Oh, I also have my headset turned on. There we go. So let's see. There we go. Yeah, it is pretty buggy. And that's because I have this on. But it says I should get 109. Let's see here. Yeah, 109 FPS. And now if I turn this off, boom, smooth as hell. Smooth as hell. And that is around 100 FPS, yes. And as I said, if you go into like city areas or demanding areas, and your FPS would dip down under 70 or 60 FPS in uh, without frame generation, then with frame generation, it will be buggy. So let me just show you an example. Let's see here. Where's the city? St. Denis, there we go. Not that known with the map in this game. But you will notice on camera even when it gets buggy because it dips way under 60 FPS, I think. I'm pretty sure at least. You should be able to see it on camera. And we'll see. I also did configure some settings so it would run even smoother even in the city. Oh crap. Fuck you, man. You don't mess with me. Oh, yeah, that was a spike. Those do happen. Oh my god. No. Why did Steam open up? And now I am no longer in full screen. Uh, so enable full screen again, because that's what happens if you go out. And HDR will also disable itself. That's just something Red Dead has a problem with. And boom, we are now with frame generation and HDR. God damn. They really messed me up. Let me just have this mask on. Oh, they know. They know. Disturbing the peace? Really? They were trying to rob me. Man. As long as my horsey horse doesn't die, I don't really get, care. But yeah, this runs pretty smoothly. Just in really, really demanding areas. Let's see if I can find any. Yeah, like here, it is bugging a little. But if you don't really do much action, you won't really notice it. So if that really bugs you out, I recommend taking the settings down even further. Or even the resolution. And uh... Oh shit, I thought he wasn't on a horse. I was just trying to run him over. Goddamn, but he was on a horse. But yeah, otherwise this looks pretty amazing if you're not in a town. And if you, as I said, want this to run even more smoothly, take down the resolution. And uh, like, cause this is pretty high. 
and it does dip under 60 fps sometimes and that's why it does bug out sometimes like it did but uh i don't really mind it because i want my game to look really good and i want it to just look really good but yeah that's how you enable amd frame generation so yeah thanks for watching like dislike subscribe goodbye